Welcome back to Library Chess YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a kiddies jumpsuit. So this measurement I'll be working with is for a three-year-old girl. And let's just read right to the tutorial. The jumpsuit is going to be having a button in front, which means the opening will be at the front. So the the front is just long by it's longer than the back. As you can see, there is an extension here. So let me lift it up so that we can see it. So there is an extension of around 1.25 inches for the bottom allowance for the front bodies okay so the shoulder measurements i'm working with is 10 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 5 inches so i have 5 inches here the hand pole i'm working with is also 5 inches the chest the waist measurement i'm using the same measurements for the chest and the waist the waist measurement is 6 inches so this is 6 inches and i'm adding 1 inch allowance so that makes it 7 inches and the neckline I'm using is two and two, two and quarter by one for the back, and two and quarter by two point five for the front bodies. So I'm going to be cutting this out now. Okay, so I've cut this out. This is the arm. Oh, this is the front neckline. You can see it's higher than the. This is the back neckline. Sorry, you can see it's higher than the front, and there is no opening at the back. So which means the back is completely closed. The front will be the one with opening and it will carry the button up. Okay. So now this is the front. The next thing is for me to cut facing for my front. And to cut the facing, you just need to place your fabric. I'm using the same length I used for the front. The length, sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, to mention the length I'm using for the blouse. And I'm using a length of 10 and half inches. So the same 10 and half inches that I use is the length of my facing and I just placed it on it and shape out the neckline and the width that I'm using is 4 and is 4 inches so you just need something enough so that by the time you open up your lapel like this the the lining will not be showing it is the main fabric that will be showing so just something that can cover up up to this place and if you have enough fabric to line it, line it completely you can also do that okay so we are done with the upper part now i'm going to move to the trouser part of the jumpsuit okay so for the trouser part of the jumpsuit the length i'm working with is 10 inches so this length you get it by measuring from your waist to from the waist of the child to the knee or where you want the jump suit to stop so for me this is 10 inches i'm working with 10 inches and to get this hopper measurement you need to measure the hip so the hip i'm working with is 20 inches hip divided by four that's 20 inches divided by four is going to give me five inch and i'm going to add two inches for ease and that's going to give me seven inches and it's the seven inches that i have here and is marked with chalk for the crotch the crotch i'm using is six and a half so I have a crotch of six and a half. You have to measure that from the top and to where six and a half stops. And I have six and a half here, and then I'm going to connect it. So to the measurement I'm going to be using to connect it is where my seven inches stop and where my crotch is. You can see that I just make the straight line. I'm going to measure one and a half inches, and this is the one and a half inches here. So I'm just going to cuff it. You can use your free hand or your cuff. So I hope this is audible. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cuff it like this. And then the bottom, that's the opening of the of the trouser. I'm using 8 inches. So the 8 inches stops here. And I'm going to connect it to where my crotch is. So that is it. I'm going to cut this out now. That is it for the trouser part of the jumpsuit. So this is what it looks like after cutting and when you open it you have something like this let me just raise this so that we can see it okay so when we open it we have something like this for our trouser so now we move to sewing so the first thing i need to do now is to indicate where my lapel will stop so from the center front in the front bodies I'm going to measure two inches. So if I measure two inches, I'm going to mark it and then give it a notch there. 
that is where my lapel will stop this is what i'm trying to say so my opening here will stop around here so this is what the lapel is going to look like that's why i notched it so now i'm going to be turning with facing i'll take the facing to the sewing machine now and then turn it to the other side then after turning with facing i'm going to join the front and back together on the shoulder and then i'm going to bring it back to show us the next step okay so i've sewn the facing to it you can see i've turned it neatly with the facing and i joined it together on the shoulder so now i intend to add some frills on the shoulder area just down like this so i've gone ahead to cut my fabric i'm using a black fabric and i cut the fabric it's two and a half inches as you can see two and a half inches by 14 inches and i went ahead to gather it to the length that i want so this is the length i'm working with the shoulder that i have here is two inches and i divide by two which is one so from here i'm going to measure one inch and then i'm going to take it straight down like this and then on the back side also straight down and then i'll repeat the same thing for the other side so i'll measure what i have here and this is around 19 and a half inches so i'm going to gather my 40 inches long fabric to 19 and a half inches and i'm going to sew it here okay i hope you understand this so i'm going to sew it on this side also and on the other side so i cut two of the fabric you can just leave your fabric straight like that what i mean by leave it is in this case now i cut it into two and then use this to turn out each other because i have enough but if you don't have enough it's going to just be two just one two and a half inches then you weave the edges but in this case the edge is not weaved so i cut it on fold and then i use them to turn out each other that's why i have it neatly finished on this other side like this okay so the next thing to do now is to sew this together i'm going to take it to the same machine and sew my frills on both sides okay so i've sewn in the frills on both sides as you can see the next thing i'm going to do is to close it up and then join them on the sides using my seam allowances so i'll take it to the machine now and the one inch seam allowance that i left i'm going to use it to join it on both sides before we move to the trouser okay so i've sewn it now and this is what it's looking like so now i'm going to set the upper part aside now and then work on the lower part so for the trouser i'm going to join it together here and this cuffed part i'll sew it here and then sew it here before i sew the under part so i'm just taking it to the machine and run a stitch here and here okay so both sides are sewn now the next thing now is to open it up like this open the two sides up you can see it's looking like a shirt now and then i'm going to stitch the under part of the shirt like this so that will have a full normal shot okay so i've sewn it together on the under area also as you can see and i went ahead to hem the bottom of the shirt so now if we turn it out this is what the shirt looks like this is what the shirt looks like so now I'll determine where my front will be okay so I want this to be my front and on the front part I want to notch this side remember this doesn't have a side seam so I want to notch this side so that it can guide me okay so on the front part I want to trim it down a bit to give it some form of fitting at the center front so on the center front I'll go down by half inch
and then I'm going to connect it to the side. Remember, the back is not inclusive in a slant form like that, and then I'll cut this off just to give the trousers some fitting at that area. Okay, so now we know this has our front. You can see the front now is a bit lower than the back. So this is my front and this is my back now on the upper part also that's the top part i'm going to join this remember the opening is at the front so i'm just going to place them on each other now and then hold it with stitches i'm going to sew it together so that i can join my short part to the top part okay so i've sewn it together you can see it is joined now the two fronts center front is joined so now the next thing is to sew this upper part to the lower part which is the short not forgetting that the front is lower than the back okay so this is my front front will go with front so i just match the points together this is the center front i'll hold this with a pin And then go over to the side remember i notched the side on the short and there is a seam on the side of the blouse also so i'll go to the side seam and then i'm going to match them together so i'll do this for everything and then i'm going to sew it around so i'll do that now and bring it back to show us okay so i've sewn it right now then I'm going to turn it up to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the play suit is looking like. Now, I didn't use the actual measurement for the waist, so the waist is a little bigger than the normal measurement. So I'll be gathering it with this elastic. So I just take the actual waist measurement and remove like two inches so that it will be fitted. And then gather it round. But I won't be sewing it on the fab on the cloth itself. I'll be sewing the elastic on the seam allowance so that I can use it to conceal it later. I hope you understand that. I'll measure the actual waist. I'll take the actual waist measurement. The actual waist is 20 inches. I can leave it at 20 inches or just remove like two inches to have 18 inches, okay. So if I have 18 inches, I'll have something like this. And then I'll go ahead to sew this round by dragging it a bit, just for it to gather the waist to the normal size. But I'll be sewing it on the seam allowance. So if I sew it on the seam allowance, I'll be able to fold it in like this and then top stitch so that I can hide the elastic. Okay, so the elastic I've been sewn around now, as you can see, is stretchy. And I sew it on the seam allowance. So I'll be folding the seam allowance in now and then top stitch around. So that this is actually optional. I just don't want to be seeing the elastic. That is why I prefer to do this. You may do it or not. Okay, so it has been top stitched now. You can see that we can no longer see the elastic. And this is what the place which is looking like. So now I decided that I want to add this black fabric as a belt around here so i'm just going to be creating a belt here and here and then i made a belt of around 40 inches long and then i used a width of around one and quarter so it's very long and then i'm going to make a belt too, so that i can just tie it so that the black fabric will not just be on the fruit can be used as the girls also so by the time I tie it it will look something like this okay so before I do that the next thing now is to cut our collar remember this is going to be having a collar so remember we did a notch earlier when we finished cutting before we sewing our facing where the lapel will stop Okay, that is where we, the color will also stop. So I just mark this with the chalk so that we can see that area very well. So now from the center back, I'm going to measure what I have 
from not from the uh, from the starting point here but from where the lapel will stop i'll take it to the center back and the measurement i have is what i'll be using to cut out my collar so here i have around five and a half five and a half inches on fold so if you open it it will be 11 inches that's what we'll use for our collar okay, so for the collar I'm using the five and a half inches, so I had a half inch allowance for seam. So this is six inches by three and a half inches. So on the open part here, remember it's on food. I'll go down by half inch here and then make sure what I have here and the half of it is three inches. So the half inch that I went down, I'll connect it diagonally to the three inches like this. And then on that half inch point, I'll also go in by half inch and then connect it diagonally to the M line like that. I'm sure by the time I cut it, the stroke is not so feasible. We'll see it better. So I'm connecting this like this. And then the half inch that I went in here, I'll also connect it to this down part like this. So this is what I have for the color and when I open it out it looks like this so I cut two of these because I'll be I'll be turning them against each other so this curved part now I'm going to sew it this open part this curved part is what I'll be sewing to the fabric to the main color so I'm going to be closing this completely I'll sew like this and then turn it out okay so I've sewn it now and then I'm going to turn it up. Okay, so this is the color. Make sure you notch that pointed area very well. If possible, just trim it off so that it can come out sharp just the way you want it. Okay, you can iron interface on it if you want. But the fabric is thick enough, so I'm okay with what I have here. Okay, so now we'll be sewing this down part to our main play suit. So I'll notch the center back here. And I'll also notch the center back on my collar. I'll match it to each other and then I'm going to sew it around. Okay. So the center back will be against the center back and then I'm going to take it around like that and sew. Okay, so I've sewn the first part to it like this. So I'm going to close it up and then use this other part to conceal the seams like this. I'll just fold the seam allowance in and then top stitch on it so that the seams will be concealed. I hope you can see it like this. So I'll take that now to the machine and the aim is just to conceal this seam allowance that we have here. Okay, so I've sewn it and you can see that it is neat both in and out. So this is the color and I want her to sew in my belt O. <clears throat> like I said, I also want I had to fix my two buttons and then I made my button hole. I have a tutorial on how to make this button hold manually on my channel already. So now I'm going to button this up now. So this is what the places look like. This is the lapel. The collar are frills. And this is the shirt. So you can see how beautiful and simple it is to make this. And this is my belt. So I can decide to put my belt or not. So this is it with belt and this is a completed jump. So I, I will need to give it a good press. I've not ironed it at all. So I need to iron this and this is a complete and this is the back. You can see that the back 
is equally gorgeous so thank you for watching like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload new tutorials see you in the next one bye